Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So we are back with massive headlines with a lot of action and activity right now in the crypto markets. And I thought, you know what? While we're not really getting any massive news uh, right now within the SHIB ecosystem, I might as well cruise around the forums and actually find out what the people are thinking about what they're saying so all that interesting stuff is very very important we should dissect it analyze it, and really go deep into it now i found a post that says been here since 2000 group members thought i would share my journey briefly i've been here since uh the the sub had around 2k members and no one knew what SHIB was. Bought in for around 300 euros. Pretty soon it hit the first major high at the time, got listed in various exchanges and my money went up to 13k. Didn't sell it, went down to uh, 3k. Half a year later we reached an all time high. My money went to over 25k, didn't sell it. Now it's down again to around 4k. What am I trying to say? Of course, I sometimes think of what would it be like if I had taken it out when the all-time high was? But that's the point. It's impossible to know it at the time. You're just thinking, if it got up 10 times, 20 times, why not 50 times or 100 times? So here I am again after 1.5 years, sitting calmly, enjoying the sale and waiting for the next run. If it already happened twice, why wouldn't it happen for the third time and more? Stay strong. So, sounds like we got in around the same time. Lol. Uh, almost 100 times your investment and you think it's awesome that you didn't sell some people just weren't meant to make money he's waiting for the big fish the level of delusion by ship bag holders is amazing unless they're all shills being paid to post this stuff the biggest concern now with the FTX uh, debacle is the possibility of government intervention and that's what a lot of people are worried about the government uh, been wanting to regulate crypto for a while, and FTX pretty much served crypto on a silver platter for the government intervene. Um, is it okay? I heard the government will treat crypto as commodities with regulation, more people will join because it will be safer. Yeah, FTX messed up a possible bull run, but that was about to happen. We're in together. At a certain point, you have to sell to make my, uh, money. Been here when it was under 10k, and wow, it's been a ride. Still in the green, somehow. You're right, and that's the part. If you had sold, uh, you could have taken profits and uh, bought back in, but there is no way of knowing it won't go higher when, if it will dip with certainty. Either way, if you don't have the balls to do what you did, you'd never be that guy you held till uh, he reached the top. Wise words, anybody who isn't um, this for at least 10 years isn't playing the right game. The all-time high you speak of what would be after holding throughout um, several other all-time highs. You don't know what it'll stop when you're in the moment. Of course, in hindsight, everyone says they wish they had sold. It will go further down, maybe half of what you got. But that's the point, isn't it? You don't know that. It may or may not go that way. So why spread claims like that? It will go down. Go and see Bitcoin waiting around 16K and probably go down to 13.7 and then 10K after New Year. This is new 50% down. Shiba will follow that trend. People don't like losing money. Everyone's saying hold, but that isn't the point. It will take massive amount of time to recover from this and won't end just like that until recession is over and USA starts pumping money in it. So there you have it, guys. A lot of interesting points. Um, but, you know, I, I really like this post because uh, the type of message that this person is trying to convey and try to push towards us is the fact that we really don't know. Uh, and yes, um, we could look at charts, at cryptos, you know, in the past and say, hey, if I had bought it here, uh, this is how much I would have made. But you, there is no way you would be selling at an all time high because that's the thing. You don't know if it's an all time high. Um, and this is the point with this this person. This person probably thought, you know, it was going to go over 25k. Uh, because if it was going up, why why would it stop at 25? Why wouldn't it stop at 26 or 27? That's the thing that we don't know. And all we can do is just be patient and uh, really trust the process. Uh, you know, potentially this person could see a massive, massive rise in uh, their investment undoubtedly in the future very very possible if it reaches that one cent dream is going to be taken to levels you know not known to mankind like massive returns 
But on the other hand, you know, sometimes we have to have some logic and understand, look, you know, I'm already here at this point, I've already made this much money. Uh, do I just, uh, you know, wait and be greedy? Or should I just take it out and cash out and, and enjoy the money because, you know, I've already made a lot of money. So you really have to have that thought in your at the back of your head, you know, that, uh, look, I've made a lot of money and perhaps this is the amount that I would be happy with. But sometimes people are like, no, no, I want more and I want more and I want more. And this is where greed gets, you know, into their heads. So it's important that you control it, that you don't abuse it and that you make the most of all the the opportunities that you are presented uh, because you never know i mean guys uh, it's it's very likely that i would cash out you know if bone reached a hundred dollars as an example the offspring token of of shiba inu and i'm massive on bone a lot of people say hey you should wait until a thousand dollars but hey with a hundred dollars i would have already made you know a considerable amount of money am i really that greedy to risk even more it's a bit like you know playing the casino It's basically yes you won once you won twice won twice and possibly you could win the third time but isn't it better to just take it out because you're going to end up with nothing better to take out the cash so i kind of also have that mentality so be logical about things i guess this person kind of sees that 300 euros as not not the 300 euros that turned into 25k at some point he just sees those 300 as 300 and that's why even though he's still at i don't know 4k 3k profit still good enough although he was at 25k because he still sees it as the old investment the money that he could afford to lose so uh he's not really like losing out big time um it's just possibly uh what he would have made but it's not like uh, he's down so as of now guys these are the type of you know discussions that i'm very interested in i know a lot of people are very divided about it but i would really love to hear your thoughts so leave them down below in the comment section what do you think? Do you think um, it's going to take a long time to reach these all-time highs, especially after FTX, uh, potentially government now intervening and, you know, having an excuse to actually go in deep and try and like shake up the crypto market? How do you think everything's going to be played out? And also, uh, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe. This community is growing. Make sure you like, you share this video, hit, hit that notifications bell. Uh, be part of this journey, okay? So as usual, I want to say a big thank you to everyone. Really appreciate the support and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.